Okay, uh, I'm going to be starting with counting and rounding with significant figures. Uh, before we actually get started, uh, counting or rounding with sig figs, you have to realize that there are three types of numbers. You're either going to have an explicit number, that's going to be any number with a decimal. Alright, so explicit, you see the decimal present. You're going to have implicit, whereby decimal, those are ditto marks, meaning same as above decimal not present okay and then you're going to have exact which are essentially for our purposes going to be counting numbers or um, actual counts or uh, most importantly or most frequently you're going to see conversion factors all right so those are the three different types of numbers I'll give you an example of each an explicit would be anything like 201.2 grams you see the decimal present, therefore it's explicit. Example of implicit would be an example like uh, 200 all right, grams. That instance is going to be implicit because the decimal is not present, but it is implied to be present after the second zero. And finally, exact would be something along the lines of uh, two dice. It's an uh, count, or another example would be um, a conversion factor where it's going to be, say, one day over 24 hours okay anything like that these would be exact so implicit and that would be your explicit alright so uh, once we understand that then we can actually move into the counting and rounding rules for it for explicit and implicit you're always going to start with your non-zero that means that any zeros in the front never count you always start with your first non-zero let's take a look at an example of this let's say we do 400.320 liters. First off, it's going to be explicit. All right, the rule for explicit is you always start with your first non-zero, in this case the four, and you count everything to the right. So it's going to be 400320. Gives me a total of six sig figs. Okay. Uh, another example would be 0 0.00390. All right, grams. This would be three sig figs. Why? Because explicit with the decimal present. Start with your first non-zero, which is your three. Count everything to your right, giving me a total of three significant figures. Okay, simple enough. All right, let's move to implicit then. Implicit, again, you always start with your first non-zero. Never start with any zeros in the front. All right, let's say we do 60,470 liters. Implicit because no decimal is present. You start with your first non-zero, you always end with your last non-zero, and you count any, everything in between. So, from the 6 to the 7 gives me a total of 4 significant figures. Okay, another example would be, let's say, 30020, or 30,020. I won't put grams as unit, whatever. Uh, in this instance, start with your first non-zero, your 3, and with your last non-zero, your 2, giving me again four significant figures okay um, all exacts no matter what oops let's erase that okay all exacts are going to be infinite that's a symbol for infinite all right so make sure you remember that so you have your explicit and your implicit rules all right Make sure you know that. All right, now we're going to move into actual rounding. Before we actually get into the rounding part, just as a quick reminder, in order to round, if a rounding digit is 1, 2, 3, or 4, the digit that is to be rounded stays the same. If it is 5 or above, that digit is going to be pushed up 1. Okay, so let's say I were to give you the following number, 207180. All right. Grams, and I said round this to 1, 2, 3, 4, and say 5. 5 sig figs. Alright, so if I were to give you this as an exercise, okay, let's take a look. Round this to 1 sig fig. That means that I'm going to look at this number, 207180. See that my 2 is my first significant figure. Therefore, my zero becomes the rounding digit. Zero keeps the two a two. So I will write two. 
and I'll use zeros as placeholders because I cannot shift the place value column that the 2 is in. Right now it's in 100,000 columns. Cannot change it, so in order to keep that 2 in that 100,000 um, value column, I'll use zeros as placeholders. So that'll be rounded to one sig fig. If I want to round this to two sig figs, let's take a look. Well, here's my first sig fig, the two, significant figure, which is the two. Uh, my second significant figure is going to be this zero. Therefore, my rounding digit is actually the seven. All right, the seven pushes the zero to a one. So I'm going to have two, one, and yet again, the two is in the hundred thousand, the zero is in the ten thousands. I cannot change their place value column, so I will use zeros as placeholders thereby giving me 210,000. All right, moving on. Three sig figs. Well, if you take a look, this first three digits, two, zero, and seven, are going to be significant. All right, the one we know keeps the seven, uh, seven, therefore we add zeros as placeholders. That's three sig figs. All right, four sig figs. The two, the zero, the seven, and the one are your first four significant figures. Therefore, the eight is your rounding digit. The 8 will actually push the 1 to a 2, giving me 2072. And yet again, can I change the place value column? So I use zeros as placeholders, giving me that. Finally, five significant figures will be simply that. Why? Because this is an implicit number. All right, this only has five significant figures the 2, the 0, the 7, the 1, and the 8. Okay, let's do another example. Let's say I were to say, um, that should be a 9, 9, 0, 1, 0, 7, 2, 0, 0, 3. All right, yeah, I just arbitrarily picked that, random numbers. All right, and we'll put, I don't know, meters as units, so we know it's a measurement of some sort. So again, we're going to do the same thing, round to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 sig figs. All right, and hopefully I left enough room. Starting off with one sig fig, easy enough. The 9 is your first significant digit. 0 is your rounding digit. Keeps this 9 as, nine as it is. So I'm going to use zeros as place value holders because this is going. This 9 is in the uh, 100 millions columns. So I'll just add zeros to make sure that 9 stays in the 100 million column. All right, two sig figs. Well, this part gets a little bit tricky. All right. Uh, if you take a look, the nine and the zero are significant. All right. That means this one becomes my rounding digit. Now that one keeps the zero as a zero. Here's a trick. In writing the number as just this, all right, with no uh, decimal point, we only have one significant figure. That doesn't work out. If I were to add a decimal, say here. That wouldn't work out because now I have nine significant figures. So the only way I can go about making this two significant figures is going to be using scientific notation. How does that work out? Well, we know that the nine and zero have to be significant. So I'll use those in the coefficient. All right. Uh, the coefficient can't be greater than 10. So it has to be less than 10. So I'll put it as 9.0. All right. Then I simply count how many decimal places I had to move in order to put the decimal place here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we turn 10 to the 8th uh, meters here. Put meters back up there. Uh, the reason why it's 10 to the 8th, positive 8th, is because the absolute value of this number right here is going to be greater than 1. And we know if the absolute value of the number is greater than 1, the exponent has to be positive. All right. So that's going to be number 2. Let's take a look at number 3. Number 3 is a little bit easier now. Uh, 1, 2, 3. All right, therefore, my zero is my rounding digit, keeps the one on one. So it'll simply be 901, comma, zero, 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 comma, zero, zero, zero meters. All right, that would be acceptable as would 9.01 times 10 to the eighth meters. Okay, either one will be acceptable. All right, four sig figs. All right, I'm going to move a little bit faster. 901. All right, this zero is my fourth sig fig, therefore, the seven is going to be my rounding digit. Seven pushes this zero to a one. 1, all right, place zeros as place value uh, column holders, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 meters. All right, sorry, it's getting a little scrunched up. Hopefully you can still make out what's happening here. And yet again, you may rewrite this as scientific notation. It would be 9.011 times 10 to the 
times 10 to the 8th meters. All right. Finally, 5 sig figs. If I were to do this to 5 sig figs, uh, 3, 4, 5, it'll be 9, 0, 1, 0, 7. Those are my first 5. Therefore, my 2 is my rounding digit, keeping the 7 as 7. And I'll use 0 as placeholders, thereby giving me, yet again, 9 still in the same place value column. All right, um, and yet again, you may express this in scientific notation as 9.0107 times 10 to the eighth meters. Okay, so that's basically going to be rounding with significant figures and counting with significant figures. Hopefully that helped.